What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you the next episode of the Poke Duels series that we got going on. Um, up first, let's go ahead and we'll do a quick team recap for the everybody watching. Up first, we have our starter choice, Black Chick or Red Eyes Black Chick. It is a fire type, pure fire type with Peck, Growl, and Quick Attack. Up next, we have Karibo, the normal flying type with pound in defense mode we also have celtic guardian which is a normal grass type with tackle and foresight and then our newest member that we added is the bug type petite moth with tackle and string attack so we are about to go into the forest um i kind of want to do some switch training kind of want to do some switch training give me one hot second want to do some quick switch training i need wanted to add that to the uh, layout okay so we're gonna do this real quick we can't run yet but we're gonna get up here um i'm glad i thought about that have we been to the mart yet we have one pokeball glad glad my brain said hey go shopping so we're gonna run in here really quick we're gonna grab some pokeballs maybe there's some new items that we don't know about maybe the developer added new items um let's see nothing new okay so it's literally standard so so pretty cool um, let's get, shoot, let's just get 10 more Pokeballs, and then we're going to just unload on those. Okay. Now we just have to hope we don't get poisoned, because that, that would be terrible. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's do some switch training, too. Um, I don't have any fire moves yet with Black Chick. Uh, I'm kind of scared to run Celtic Guardian up front right now, just because he is a grass type, and if we're running into the forest, I'm expecting a whole bunch of bug types in the forest. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. This game is just something completely different, dude, that we've never never uh, played before. Um, very different typings for the start of Fire Red. Um, any new dialogue? There's banning new bugs in there is what she says. Beaver Warriors may... Okay. Interesting. So this is a new encounter, so I'm probably going to have to regret my decision. So let's um let's just rotate back real quick to the black chick. So red eyes black chick is up front. Let's, uh, let's go right here. All right, our encounter in here is a man-eater bug, dude. Okay. It is a man-eater bug. So this looks like we're running with a solid bug-type team. So we are going to catch the man-eater bug, dude. Oh, it broke free. What, does it have poison sting? What's it move? Scratch. Okay. I guess I am going to quick attack it. I'm not going to peck it. I'm going to quick attack it. Interesting. Defense mode. Raising its defenses, which I can dig. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize defense mode increased both physical and special defense. That's kind of dope. Okay. Man eater bug, dude. Adding that to the squad, man. Alright. Alright, baby red eyes. You can do it, man. Alright, throw a Pokeball. I think this is going to be it for us. We can do it. One, two, or three. Hey cool we do got ourselves a team here man eater bug no nickname for the man eater bug let's check him out real quick though our fifth team member pure bug type and scratch defense mode and string shot okay and it's got shell armor blocking crits dude kind of gnarly not gonna lie all right so now we know though that level five man eater bugs do not have a bug type move. So if we wanted to grind up Celtic Guardian, we could essentially do that. Found another Pokeball. No encounters here for some time. Um, let's see if we get something. What's that, dude? Parasite C? Whoa. That is new. We're gonna switch train though. We're gonna head out the uh, black, red eyes black chick. String shot, okay. Interesting. I wonder what the difference between this and Petite Moth is. Parasite C. What, what is that? I wonder if it's Parasite Parasite, maybe? Is that what it is? 
is it Parasite Parasite? I love that I'm super effective against these guys. It actually makes this so much easier. Actually makes this so much easier. So much easier. And I want to get everybody at least to level 10. I think the first gym, if it's just like regular Pokemon, 14 is the highest level. So we're just going to have to be a little careful. But um, we're going to march on through here. We're just going to keep switch training. What else is in here? Another petite moth, it looks like. I don't know if there's shiny mons in here. Not a clue. Um, can we beat them ourselves? Did a lot of damage. It did a ton of damage. That's not even good, dude. That's not good. It did a ton of damage to us. We are going to have to grind for sure. Probably do an off-screen grinding montage for everybody. Um, but we are going to have to grind for sure. I can already tell just based on what we're running into right now. Nice. Okay. Might be wise for us to go heal. Um, I know I grabbed a whole bunch of potions and stuff, but they are looking rather tough. Plus, I just wanted to make sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I do we get Route 2? Is it Route 2 continued on the other side of Viridian Forest? I cannot remember. Um, can't remember for the life of me. We're going to go grab some heals real quick. I didn't check the insides of these houses, um, just in case there's new items and stuff, or just new dialogue or whatever. But um, we talked to all these guys in here. Um, with our new Maneater Bug card added to the deck here. Razor, I hope you're taking notes to add these to the deck, man. The deck build here. Gotta add all these cards to the deck build. Does he say anything new? Not too fair. Petite Moth and Parasite. Parasite Caterpillar is what it is. Parasite Caterpillar. What is that? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, I'm sorry how to end up a dual monsters community college. Okay. Pop quiz. What a... Hmm. Nice. That was actually pretty funny. Anything interesting in here? This was the house. There's a rare grass type monster in Viridian Forest. I wonder what it could be. Rare grass type. <laughs> My daddy loves the FTK. <laughs> All right, cool. Rare grass type in the forest of Viridian Forest. What grass type Yu-Gi-Oh monsters do I know of? We know Celtic Guardians grass type. Is it Mystical Elf, I wonder? Is it Mystical Elf? Hmm. What else could it be? So we've seen two mons in there. We've seen the Maneater Bug, and we've seen um, Parasite Caterpillar. But what else could there be in here? What else could there be in here? I don't know. Don't know. We got the Podium. We needed that. Oh, let's see. Did we, did we run into it? Nope. Another Petite Moth. We are just going to keep running away until we get to some trainers. Which I feel like our first duelist is right here. This is our first duel right here. Our first duel. This is our first duel of the game. Everybody. Let's see. Or, sorry, our first uh, non-rival. Parasite C it is. Okay. Level 6. We're going to switch into Red Eyes Black Chick. Get in there. Get in there. Stun Sporin. Okay. I was actually afraid of it afraid of that. Kind of afraid of that. Okay. And lowering my speed stat. Okay. Hopefully we can find a paralyzed heal, but I'm not too sure. And we're paralyzed. That's not good, friends. That's not good. That is not good. But at least knocking this out will give Karibo some experience. Maybe get a wing Karibo? Maybe. That'd be dope. Wing Karibo level 7. Wing Karibo... I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know if they're going to have multiple evolutions up to four, maybe. Could be something new. Uh, you know, maybe Karibo stays Karibo forever. I don't know. have no clue. Don't know its stats. Don't know much. But speed stat was actually pretty impressive back there, if you've seen that. We're going to switch back to Karibo. and try to make sure it gains as much levels as we can get it to gain here. Petite Moth it is. Nice hit, Karibo. 
does a lot of damage, my friends. Does a ton of damage. I'm getting that normal stab, though. I'm actually a little bit afraid here of a crit. Would probably put me away. A crit from him would probably put me away. But I am getting the uh, stab boost for the tackles, which is pretty cool. So it makes Kribo a little, little better for a normal type. And I wanted to get a flying type move because that would help out a lot in these cases. Which is why I'm thinking it might become Wing Karibo. So we just got to see. I don't know what the level up is. Like, am I evolving at level 16 with Red Eyes Black Chick? Am I, like, what's the... Don't know the standard. Wing Karibo is level 5 now. Look at that HP stat. That physical attack stat's pretty impressive. Multiply. What does that do, dude? Okay. There it is. So we did see that is our first... Besides defense mode, that is the first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh move that we've seen. It's not a hack. I like it. Oh, did you hear the song when we won? It was literally, it was literally the uh, Pokemon uh, GX song. That is nuts, dude. That is nuts. We're gonna heal up Black Chick real quick, and we're just gonna what the hell? We're gonna heal up uh, Kariba. All right, good job, team. We're gonna keep on going. I do want to get Karibo just a little bit. I don't know who the first duelist that we're going to fight could be. The first gym leader is going to be. Kind of uh, interested on that. So, we got to see who it's going to be. Parasite C coming back out. Okay, Parasite C. Karibo it is, man. What does Multiply do? I didn't even look what Multiply does. I'm just going to do it. It's quick attack. Okay, it's literally uh, oh, not quick attack. It's double team. Okay. Nice. Missed though. Let's do some damage. And it got stun scored. Okay. That's all right. We see what multiply does, which is actually pretty clutch. I actually really dig that. That's uh, that was a good. That was a smart decision for for multiply there. All right. Parasitic caterpillar. Parasite caterpillar. Whatever you want to call yourself. You're going down. You're going down. Red eyes be chick. You're, you're gonna win. Love it, dude. I really like the art style, too. Like, whoever made the uh, little animations on it was actually really good. Come on, dude. I need you to put this thing away for us, man. We, we trying to... We want to get out of the forest this episode, of course. Nice. Nice damage. I didn't even... Did I look at what Red Eyes Black Chick's ability is? I don't think I checked a, checked a lot of their abilities. Or at least memorize what their abilities are. Kribo's level 6 now. He levels up fast. Oh my gosh. Parasite C, another one. Alright, I kind of want... I kind of want to throw a Celtic Guardian out there. Because I feel like Celtic Guardian could be something for us later. Um, I also wonder if Petite Moth is going to evolve at like level 10, level 7 or something. Become Cocoon of Evolution or whatever. I just don't know. I don't know, is, is Celtic Guardian going to become Obnoxious Celtic Guardian? Or uh, Celtic Guardian Noble Arms? I don't know. I have no clue. Now, all the questions that, if you've never played this game all the way through, or played this game at all, you, you just don't know. I don't even know if this game is finished, by the way. I have no clue. Not a single clue. I'm going to check here. Nice. Nice. Taking it down a notch. Celtic Guardian, okay. Level 4. And he is our only grass type. Petite Moth is coming out, so we're going to switch back to the Celtic Guardian. I'm going to throw my Celtic Guardian out in attack mode. Get out there, Celtic Guardian. I don't know what level that, that Moth is. Kind of... I see a Witcher tag. Witcher. Cool, you, you took that pretty, pretty good, dude. He took that pretty good, actually. He's faster, though. Celtic Guardian, he's faster. Holy string shot just, and now he's doubly faster than us. You can do it, Celtic Guardian. We missed. Celtic Guardian, fall back. Get out there, red eyes, black chick. Might have to heal you. We can live. I'm healing you, though. All right. 
That's a that's a W. That's a tough. We'll take your locator cards and your rares card. All right. Listen to that. Better get your game. Oh, I love it, dude. Oh, dude, that's so good, dude. That's so good. I don't know who who designed all this stuff, but that's so clever, man. Like, so clutch. It's, it's actually kind of nuts. It's actually insane. Much respect to all the hard work you put in. It is actually insane. I'm burning up all my podians. Um, whoa, that is new. That is new. So, antidote. Could use that. Wish it was a paralyzed heal. So that is new right there. So the developer definitely made some modifications. Alright, let's get your game on, man. Let's get your game on. Might have to do some thorough exploring of this area later. Alright, Petite Moth. I am I am not afraid of you, man. Now I especially now. Definitely not afraid of you now. Sucks I'm paralyzed, but but we do some we do some damage now, man. Freebo levels up so fast that we do some damage. As long as I'm not paralyzed, you're gonna be feeling it. One more hit should put you away. Ooh. Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky, Petite Moth. You're lucky. I'm so curious too. I just wanna know if it evolves, man. Just wanna know if it evolves. I should be leveling up, like, and then that's another question too: Is it Petite Moth, Larva Moth, Cocoon of Evolution, Great Moth, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, or, or how? I just don't know. Oh, gosh, dude, you level up so fast; it's insane, dude. Your level up is nuts. It is actually nuts. That is insane. Kribo is gonna be like top tier. Top tier. I, I want you to get quick attack, Kribo. Let's get quick attack. Let's get uh, your flying type. So I do need a flying type move like Peck or something would be great. Or uh, explode. I bet you get explosion. I wouldn't be surprised if it got explosion. Um, wouldn't be surprised if it got explosion. Let's see what it gets now. Oh my gosh, did you level up so so fast? It's nuts. 15 attack, 16 speed. Learn yawn. Kribo with the yawn. Okay. Support rolling. I can dig it. Dude. Better get your game on. I love it, dude. It's nuts. We were winning, bro. It's crazy. Alright. We're getting close to the exit. We have yet to run into the legendary grass. From. You can't stop my man eater bug. Okay. Dude, I wonder if we fight Weevil Underwood, dude. That'd be crazy. Let's see what he's got. Man Eater Bug. What level is Man Eater Bug? Level 5. No poison type moves, so we're good. Uh, we're good. I should have yawned him. Should have yawned him. Does have scratch, though. So, yeah, it could be a problem. Does have scratch. Let's see how much damage scratch does. Nothing. Does absolutely nothing to us. That's all you got. See how much pound does. Too much damage. Pound does too much damage to me. You didn't flip him face up. That's the problem. You didn't flip me your boat face up. You would have flipped him face up. We would have had some problems. All right. Now, I wonder if Manny your bug. I know Manny your bug has one retrain and then one. Um, well, I guess two retrains. I guess with Noble Manny your bug. There's another one. Another man bug that I don't know too much about. Um, we're going to switch Karibo, though, because Karibo's getting a little bit banged up. And we're going to throw a Petite Moth out there. Why not? Get us some levels. We got Karibo at level 8. So, start sharing some levels. Did you know that Pokemon Evolve? Okay. So, obviously, not all the dialogue's different, but a lot of it is. So, Cocoon of, Cocoon of Evolution. Okay, so... Definitely a possibility there with that, uh, with that theory I had. There's Cocoon of Evolution. Um, interesting. Interesting. That's awesome artwork too, by the way. Like whoever designed that did a really good job. Um, 
Yeah, no, keep keep boosting up your defense mode, man. I respect it. I can respect it, man. That sneeze coming on. I had to fight off. <laughs> All right. We can do it, dude. Oh, crit. Crit, crit, crit. Get out of my face. Nice. So, do we get a fire type move now? There we go. That's what we needed, squad. Our first stab. Our first stab. Alright, get out there, Petite Moth. And we're fighting a another Petite Moth, which is fine. So, but now that we know that we get Cocoon of Evolution, that's interesting. So no Larva Moth. No Larva Moth. There we go. Stab, fire type move. Done. Done, because we are a pure fire type right now. Five. Another Cocoon of Evolution. Yep. So we're gonna throw out a throw out Petite Moth again. We're gonna try to get Petite Moth up there. Cocoon of Evolution, okay. Go back out into baby dragon, black chick, red eyes, black chick. Okay, we can do it. Imba. All right, get him, red eyes. Get him, my baby, red eyes. Yeah. Whoa, that didn't do a lot. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised by that. I wonder how much uh, Kareeva would gain from these, because his level up speed is insane. Oh, paralyzed. No! Is this the rare mom that they're talking about? Hmm. What have we seen? We've seen Manny the Bug. We've seen Petite Moth. We've seen uh, Petite Moth, Parasite, C. Um, that's it, though. I think there's four in here, right? Hmm. Four in here. That is actually crazy. Let's peck. Let's peck him once and see what happens. See if my uh, physical attack will break through. His defenses. There we go. We did it. We defeated the cocoon of evolution. We defeated the cocoon of evolution. That's right. Better get your game on. All right. Keep going down. Got one more battle, it looks like. Is there an item over here? There is. One podium. We did need that. We did need that. Bam. Alright, cool. Let's see what you got, man. Jerry Beans, man. Oh my God, Jerry Beans, man. I bet you that's the, that's got to be the rare Pokemon, right? The rare, the rare Mon. It's got to be the rare card, man. Jerry Beans, man. That's nuts. That is actually nuts. I actually really like that. Level nine, though, dude. That's kind of, that's kind of insane. Remember, absorbing Jerry Beans, man. Jerry Beans, man. How dare you absorb me? Got to get burned, though. You're going down. I did a lot of damage to you, Bean. That did a lot of damage to the Bean Man. That did a lot of damage. I know we do. We did skip the battle with Razor, so we got to go get ready to duel Razor. Uh, I wanted to make sure I had some more Mons on my team, some more, some more cards, man. I don't have a, I don't have a deck of six yet, but it's getting pretty close. Nice. All right, Mr. Beans Man, you're out of here. Petite Moth grew to level six. Red Eyes Black Trick grew to level 11. Give me another move. Nope. Okay. Okay. Alright. We are out of here. We are going to go heal. I don't want to talk to these guys yet. Is this Route 3 or 2? 
Route 2. So no encounter here, unfortunately. No encounter there. I don't want to talk to everybody. I kind of just want to go here. All right, guys. So I am going to end the episode here. If you guys did enjoy this episode of the Pokey Duel series, episode two, please smash the like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. Um, when we come back, I'm going to have everybody grind it up pretty good. Uh, right now, it's looking like we're at 11s across. I kind of want to get everybody to a nine, maybe nine for everybody. Um, Petite Moth might have an evolution in between there. Um, I'll get them right there, and I'll let you guys see the evolution. We'll just do it like that then. All right, if you guys did enjoy this, please smash the like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. But with that, I will see you guys in the next one.